Now is when we're going to see a kill. Uh, Ori does the thing where you get the boots of speed, you walk back to base with your level 6, and you usually, after this point, TP somewhere to go for a kill. Yep, Hammer comes out onto Fishman, but they're not going to follow up with a Starbreaker, knowing that the Enigma yeah, he's is going somewhat top. close. Yep. yep, top lane, Ori, TP's in, Fissure to set things up, the fire something a little bit of damage to Monet, but this looks like Kataomi will fall with one more zip, but he pops that Fairy Fire, another right click, but he saves himself, so Ori has to fully commit to this, but the Blood right is there, and Monet and company will get first blood on the side. Because it, the mana cost is so high in all of his abilities now, without Null Talismans, like, there's nothing to rectify that, but you need something to jump Wyvern, especially Katomi on Wyvern, like Baboka. Yeah, he's going to get Malefice with some creeps beating him down as well. And Baboka looks to be dead. His creep's not able to save him this time. Stormstormer on right click. He's going to go down. Fishman gets credit for that. And Stormstormer with a huge kill on Ori. That's Jeez. pretty much non-existent. It was very even, but... That'll certainly help Stormstormer out as you see another avalanche catching Siamese Cat. It gets a nice enchant totem, but he's going to get tossed in the air. And as we've seen before, Earthshaker in this early stage can be a bit pathetic at times. Top line, we're going to see a zip in from Ori. And here comes the Dawnbreaker ult as Saberlight. Going to get stunned and brought down despite the cold embrace coming out. Rune coming up. Stormstorm and Ori looking for it. It's going to be bottled by Stormstorm. It's an arcane rune and into a black hole with an Avatos. Great timing here from Entity baiting Ori out. And that is the second death for the Storm Spirit. Try to keep yeah. this alive, but looks like it'll just end here as Ori TPing in. And yeah, they going to zip well. right away. Avalanche comes out. Dawnbreaker all coming. Stormstormer is going to get, whoop, nice nightmare dodge on that, but I'm not sure it's going to help him. No black hole to help with. So Stormstormer looks to be mega dead. And again, a nice potential save there, but it's not going to happen. His Saberlight actually used his Fiend's Gate. I'm just going to get the hell out back to top lane. Well, that's the Heedra that he kind of popularized. Oh, all right. Stormstormer able to make sure he gets that regen rune. Fishman. He's going to get the grip off, actually, but the Fissure cancels it. And Saberlight not able to get the Pit of Malice. Finally does, but he's already on the high ground. Malefice is there. Ori completely out of mana, and the kill goes to Stormstormer again. He's got his Blink coming. Is there any smoke coming into this? Well, he's going to show himself now. There's the Nightmare. And some right clicks off, as you can see, Baboka on the other side of the trees, and Fishman kind of changing his mind. He's going to get Hurricane, though, into the hammer. Starbreaker not even needed, though. He's actually going to fall back as the Fiend's Gate is shown. And that means Saber Chat is here to save the day. Avatos finishes off Baboka, and XXS looks to be potentially next on the list, but Kataomi not able to find the curse in time. It's SNK, because, you know, something to reduce the Bane spells on you. Yeah. Up, oh, Saberlight. He's getting initiated on. You can see the Wyvern TPing in. Has the curse available. Saberlight gets Hurricane onto the other side. The Avatar's on top of the curse, though, so no damage really done. And Saberlight is likely going to die here. Another zip in from Ori, but he's out of mana. Toby gets the black hole, but a nice dodge from Ori. There's only one inside, and it's XXS. Toby, Cold Embrace, not going to save him. Saberlight able to get out. A nice Echo Slam coming out from Siamese Cat. They find three, so only Saberlight will live out of this engagement and into the Fiend's Gate. Monet could follow him up, but either way for Ash. Usually not the case for tiny snowballing potential because Stormstormer got up to an amazing start. They're going to smoke up, find Monet, Avatos to start things out. Ori at half health. He's going to pop his BKB, though, and there's the grip of the Dawnbreaker ult and the Fissure canceling that immediately. Big Starbreaker coming out as XXS deletes two heroes from Entity. Kataomi. To try to cold embrace himself as Ori just focusing on Saberlight, who's going inside his ult, but it's canceled. Triple kill for XXS, and Aster find four. Just the first Roche, so not the end of the world. Dude. So when that second Roche goes down, where you really see the snowball. Look how far back XXS is playing. Do this in kind of desperation scenarios. Uh, it, it forces Ori to have, like, detection. Yeah, that could be hard to come by. It's Fishman. He's going to get a Nightmare off, but he's likely going to fall. But a nice ult comes out from Kataomi to try to save some space here for Fishman to get out. Toby comes in with the Black Hole. The grip on top of Ori as well. The Hand of God will be enough. He's going to pop his BKB and zip back onto Fishman. So a good attempt from Entity, but it's going to be a one-for-one -one trade to start this out. And Saberlight will fall. So it was. It seemed like was that good a I didn't even notice. Yeah. Was he using right. that on creeps? Was it creeps? Potentially. Monet. His smoke's going to be broken with Saberlight there as well. The curse comes out onto two. Not that much damage done, but it sets up a nice potential black hole here from Toby. But where is the damage output afterwards? The PKBs are just popped now. 
Echo Slam coming out. Fishman's going to get saved for the time being, but again, Entity just crumbling in this fight. Storm Summer does find one in the form of Siamese Cat, but it's going to cost him his own life. And, and only back. two on Storm Stormer. That may have actually been a better fight for Entity. Ooh, Saber Light. Light. Full Starbreaker connects. Blood Right. He dodged here. And again, the Firestorm does a lot of damage. XXS trying to get his ult off just to reposition himself. He'll be successful. But the counter zip in from Ori, the bash from Monet. Golden Brace saving Saber Life for the time being, but he's going to continue to get right click by Monet. XXS not able to hit that Starbreaker, oh, he's but Ori, he gets the kill. Grip ends up getting canceled. So Aster, not able, but maybe there's an addition uh, to that. As we're going to see Ori's the Anna toss from Stormstormer. Ori at half HP. The Black Hole is there. Dawnbreaker goes right into the Black Hole himself. But again, no damage follow up at all. Monet just focusing down Stormstormer. Very easy kill for him. And two more dead for Entity. Make it three. Saberlight, the only member up for Entity. And they have lost fight after fight. After Literally in Entity's Fountain or the Tier 4s, there's not going to be enough damage. A Saberlight. Yeah, he's going to get ruptured. Pops that BKB. Trying to run through the pain. Used to tell me that on the treadmill all the time. Doesn't really work. As the bash comes out, and he's actually going to die inside Cold Embrace. Monet just and shard. Who gets the shard? I believe XXS already has one, along with Monet. So Ori, he's going to get awarded the sentry on the tower. This is going to be the big fight. Yeah, Monet gets off his. Rupture onto Stormstormer, pops the BKB, but the cancellation of the Fiend's Grip again, and just like that, Saber Light and Fishman are dead. Buy back into the game. Midnight Pulse not doing that much, and Stormstormer trying to get away. You can see the Solar Guardian coming as well, not going to connect fully, but Ori just pushing everybody from Entity back into their fountain as XXS doesn't even matter anymore. GG's are called. Aster shellacking here in game number one. Okay, well, Aster, man, they just think the levels are only ahead here for Saberlight because Fishman's not soaking any XP. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the prerogative of a position 5 Bane, right? Yeah, and, and Baboka on time. Rubik, he, he wants more XP. Rubik is, a, of course, a greedy 4. Yeah, talk to me about the Rubik pick. Obviously, Black Hole. <laughs> it's, am it's amazing, this game. I mean, every, any single spell, hero, really. every single hero has a spell that you want to steal. That's Fishman. Yeah, he's taking some damage. Nightmare comes out for Fishman. Taking a lot of damage, though, from this swashbuckle. He pops the fairy fire. It's going to be a right-click battle. First blood actually goes the way of Entity, just barely. He's uh, actually closing out on his level 6. Stormstormer, also level 6, looking for this rune. Oh, gets it. in. Ori gets off the electric vortex. Now the focus is on the Captain Omi, though. Gets off the jump. Onto the high ground he goes. I don't think they can pursue any further. Stormstormer gets a nice toss onto Baboka onto the high ground. Telekinesis try to save his own life, but Baboka getting chased. There's the grave again for Siamese Cat. Seen this so many times this tournament. The tree decapitates him from afar. Nice pick up there from Stormstormer. Going for more though. Gets the avalanche. Another toss it close to the tower range with a zip in from Ori. They're going to get punished. So Kataomi falls. And Siamese Cat, one more right click will do it from Stormstormer. Or Fishman, either will do. Fishman will take it. Just an okay. illusion rune for him to deny here. Fishman with the nightmare. It's going to set up the Avatos from Stormstormer. Baboka gets off the telekinesis, gets the double stun as a result. Avalanche only going to connect on the Storm Spirit, but Ori has to zip away. At the very least, Baboka falls in favor of Entity. So they get something Just out of that. Farm all of the Eidolons. Uh, Stormstormer stack here. Up in mid lane, we're going to have some action. Avalanche there from Stormstormer, but Ori's going to be perfectly fine. The first roll comes out from Saberlight, so no grave for Siamese Cat. XXS gets a nice rolling thunder. Actually going to connect on two heroes. Stormstormer getting really low. Good nightmare, but there's the Black Hole to try to counteract it and save Stormstormer. It'll be successful, and they'll turn it around. Three kills in favor of Entity. Show up on. I, I feel like he needs three oh, items. Oh, this could be a big kill for Entity. Stormstormer finds Monet. Avalanche toss. There's the grip to follow. TP's coming in on the outpost. It's going to be a bit slow. Monet gets graved at the last moment from Siamese Cat, and he's probably just going to go back and farm. But the rest of the Entity might want to fight. They're going to get the Roar off to start things out onto XXS. It's the concoction coming from Monet. At the very least, Ori drops to the deck. And XXS has to take a lot of right-click damage. Has to be careful, even in that Rolling Thunder form. So Aster, Force out of death. Out. Siamese Cat posturing to try to save the Alchemist. But instead, they're going to find Ori again. 30 seconds of no storm. And that is another painful death 
for Ori. A Siamese Cat's going to be the collateral here as well. So Entity really upping the ante. They have taken several Scouting this too. They've got a Hawk there. Uh, looks like they're going to actually go for a kill elsewhere. Yep, Fishman. They have the grip. The nightmare into the Avatos from Stormstormer and the Thunder God's Wrath is enough to delete XXS. He's gripped. It's Ori. He's going to get gripped after initiating onto Fishman himself. Stormstormer, will he have his cooldowns? No. Just a couple seconds off. But he could potentially pursue Avalanche. Toss with Katami in the area, and the Thunderbolt is enough. So Ori's greed bites him in the force end. the Roche. Yeah, true. He's, he's rolling. Yeah, he is rolling. Gets off that blink dagger, so Saberlight looks to be the focus, but the grip is there to cancel that ult entirely. Stormstormer comes in with a couple casual right clicks. The roar even expended, and XXS is dead. It, it, it all rides on this Pango with the blink dagger, but he's he's countered. Three abilities on the enemy side will stop him from rolling while he's rolling. Oh, this ward again. <laughs> yeah, that's an early gem. He's got a gem. Oh, Nightmare. And the ward again. See, Entity are in the area. A gem pickup. Even the dive bomb coming out. Axe is coming in, but Ori wants to defend this with all his heart. And they're going to turn this around to Saberlight as Monet finally gets him right clicks down. But there's the roll. What the hell are these ultimates on top of each other? Full grip onto Monet, but he's going to live for now. Avatos with the nice grave coming out as well. But he is horribly surrounded. Actually goes down to the jump from Kataomi. So Entity punishing this pretty hard. They do lose Saberlight. I'm over here. Question is, who got the gem? Did it drop? That's Baboka. He's going to get taken out here for one more right click. Triple kill for Kataomi of all heroes. XXS. He's going to roll up thanks to that shard, but it's not going to keep him alive as Entity. They get the gem. Push quite yet, despite having the Aegis for another minute. Although Stormstormer coming in, he gets off the Avalanche. He's a bit Toss deep. as well. Baboka just barely lives, and it's going to be turned around now. But again, this is just the Aegis. The question is, does Entity have the numbers? Rolling Thunder still continuing. Saberlight coming in. Looking for a potential roar target. Gets it off onto Monet as Ori. Now Ori has to zip back to base as Monet pops his early BKB. Concoction coming off as Stormstormer able to finish off Boboka. And now Monet getting chased by these disgusting creeps is already three dead for Aster. And this might be GG territory. Monet dies in his own base. Buyback onto Ori. But that's going to be a dieback for him. 50 seconds of Storm Spirit done. KB on for Saberlight. Yeah, Entity knows that there's a, a smoke out happening here from Aster because look at the creeps in the base. It's so obvious with where those are positioned. They're pinging it. They know. Yeah, I'm storm. Oh, Monet. They're going to be spotted. Grip comes out already. Look at this Pango just dying inside the Grip. Gets roared after the fact, and Monet dies as well as Entity continuing to absolutely spank Aster right now. They GG's just call it. Call. They call it. So this is indeed going to a game number three. This one was not remotely close, but Entity certainly coming back with a vengeance. I mean, we talked about this before. The, the he's there, he's looking for the toss, but you can see Baboka is in the area with the fissure available. Gets off a decent block, and the Bane forced to TP. And obviously, no bottle uh, refill available as Stormstormer doesn't even have one yet. He actually came from the bot lane anyway, so wouldn't be able to refill it regardless. But Toby just gets destroyed. First blood for Aster. Katomi's level one. He might die too. Yeah, I think he is definitely dead. Pops the wand. Of course, when I say that, full wand. 21 charges. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that, a <laughs> that's a bristle yeah, back. Eight minute rune's going to spawn bot as Siamese Cat's the one that picks up the DD. And Nightmare. It's going to be a chase onto Fishman, who's blocked off by the Fissure. So Baboka and company will be able to get their second kill of the game. Yeah, that's free. Three members of Aster, though. And you can see bottom lane, a similar thing is happening, although Monet's the one that's actually caught off guard. TP's coming in, but the Centaur stomp coming out. Nice grave from Siamese Cat, as Saberlight probably just forced to try to right-click through this. They do find Monet, but it's going to be the cost of Saberlight. And the Primal Split coming out will lead to a second kill for Aster. As Kataomi, oh, he gets lifted the last second by XXS. So the first primal split used to full effect, although Kata only jumps to the high ground. Got him. He's and now stuck. blocked in by the fissure. And it's going to be a slow death for him, one way or the other. Gets off some spells in the meantime, and a high five to boot. Ends up being a one for three. They do get Monet, yeah. which is a very. 
Well, XXS, yeah. this could be the first Doom of the game. It gets it off just in time. Now the chase is on. He's going to get slowed thanks to the Heavenly Jump. No TPs coming for Aster. At least the Saber like getting that nice pickup for himself. He's playing it safe. As Toby and company will get Fissure to start things out, but XXS gets up the primal split into an instant grip on the side of Entity. So punished completely as Aster lose their off laner. And it looks like Siamese Cat will be next, although he's going to get his grave off. Likely will just delay the inevitable. As nice two pickups for Entity, and likely will try to turn this into a tier one. Time. We are in Arlington as well. Yep, this is Texas, USA land. Fishman, he is all over the place, this guy. Look at the vision that they have. He gets the Nightmare off. Saber Light's here as well. You can see some reinforcements coming for Aster, but I don't know if this is going to be in time. Even oh, Doom the back rat, Dooming the Dazzle before the Grave can come out. They're going to find the DP and Saber Light and Kat to Almi teaming up for the second kill as Entity just out. And Doom are down, so this is their opportunity to get one. And they will do so as Monet will have his Ags. And XXS already has of Aster here. They've already popped the Xs to get this tier two tower. This is we'll get it successfully, eggs. Monet. Nightmare from the high ground. Immediately taken off. And Monet is not scared of anybody, considering he is mega tanky and has the Aegis. Will in fact take the outpost in the face oh, there of it is. Entity. But there's the Doom initiation onto the Brewmaster. He looks to be dead right off the bat of this fight. And the grip just completely segregating Monet from his team. That's going to be the first life for him, as one more right click should do it. And Ori forced to TP out as the Exorcism comes back. And now Monet completely surrounded. Avatos, Spirit Vessel applied, and Entity, even against an Aegis, just terrific fight. Lucy creeps to get that Blink Dagger, actually opting to go to the other side, and XXX is going to break the smoke. Saberlight comes in, but no Doom onto the Brewmaster, who gets the Primal Split off. Actually lifts another member of Entity up in the air as Saberlight just trying to run away at this point to waste some time. Stun onto Toby. Four staff to the high ground. Just barely makes it. Silence comes in from X or from Ori, I should say. Obviously does not have the exorcism to work with. Primal split again goes off thanks to the Agon Scepter. Is Toby getting gone on completely by Ori? That's the first death. But Doom applied to Ori himself. But the rest of Entity not able to really close the gap here. So the BKB from Saberlight used from defensive measure. As the Enchant Totem actually cancels the TP from Stormstormer as a Deny comes out onto Ori, who ends up dying to his team. Monet, though, ends up dropping. A nice pick up here from Entity as they found three, but Boca looks to be next on the list. So Entity kind of waiting out this primal split. They lose only Toby, and XXS without anything else to his disposal would be dropped as well. 7k lead for Entity. That's going to break things up for Aster, who get nothing out of it. Stormstormer's well, actually gonna see it now. XXS, okay, might be going for this Bane as the Avatos comes in from Stormstormer, but the Enchant Totem immediately. Ori, he's gonna get Infernal Bladed and Doom. Look, he's just gonna drop here in all likelihood. Gets that Lotus Over off though. They're gonna turn this around to Stormstormer instead. So Doom's still not off cooldown. So Aster able to get a valuable kill as the chase continues. Fully committing to the Roche. This is Roche number two with the Shard. It's Toby. He can see very clearly because of these wards. Gets off the Poison Nova. They're going to focus down Fishman to start this out, and he's dead. Nope, no buyback. No buyback. And Stormstorm gets a big avalanche toss onto Dazzle. So that is a dead support on both sides. Doom applied to Ori, who still has the Exorcism up. Trying to go to the high ground. It's Omi trying to finish him off in his own space. It's Monet. He's trying to get the Roshan. The Aegis finally gets picked up by him, along with the Rosh kill itself. And now he's just doing so much damage. Infernal Blade applied to him, but already too dead for Entity. The Aegis advantage for Astler. But this could be the end of the Aegis at the very least. Indeed, it is. But both now, Saber Light Company might have to get out. Fissure onto the high ground. Shiva's is popping. It looks like Saber Light might be coming to an end here. He's going to get jumped now by Baboka to get this finishing move. So three kills for Astler. Obviously, the Aegis was. And from XXS's perspective, obviously still working on the refresher as Stormstormer. He's going to get a quick pickup on Siamese Cat. But. Saber Light pops the BKB. They have the Doom applied to the Brewmaster, so Entity winning this fight handily. But Boca trying to get away, limping away right now, but being pursued by Saber Light. One more right click should do it if he gets off this Infernal Blade. Knowing that he's dead, he's just trying to expend all those spells. Monet, he's all alone right now, but TP's coming in. Avatos, Saber Light, looking to finish off Monet, but he's going to find the distance here. Exo popped by Ori now. 
And Entity not afraid to continue on as Ashivas has popped the Avalanche toss to follow. He's dead. Double toss effect as Ori just drops. Big cooldown down. He's the only person alive. They haven't needed it yet, that is for sure. I don't even know if he's got it off yet. We, it's <laughs> kind of hard to notice. Saber light. Oh, a Doom comes out right off the bat, but it's reflected thanks to the Lotus Orb. And Bristle not afraid of this fight at all. And you see the Echo Slam used by Baboka. Stormstorm with the BKB on the other side of the Fissure. XSS finally gets off the Primal Split. Fishman is his target right now, but the Bristle's dead as Stormstormer finishes him off. But it's going to be a trade for his own life. But you can see damage being applied now to Ori, and he gets taken out relatively early in the fight as well. Toby continuing to get pursued by the Primal Split. Nice save. The Lotus Orb applied to him now. Now the XXS's ult is running out. We'll have to try to hightail away. Not the Thunderbolt, keeping Siamese Cat in place, but a nice fissure from Baboka with the Enchant Totem to follow. Slows Entity down enough. Yep, potentially. And Kataomi likely have Nimbus here soon. Fissure coming out, not really doing too much. In fact, kind of blocking his own way a bit. As the Primal Split is popped, try to take out Fishman. This pesky Bane has been the bane of Aster's existence, and he will die. Does have buyback, though, as Toby does get off the Poison Note with the Avalanche Toss from Stormstormer, focusing on the Dazzle, but he's going to live. Siamese Cat gets off the Grave on himself as Stormstormer now. He's the one that has to be careful, attempting to TP out, but double kill for Ori takes him out. Three dead for Entity. They're going to buy back into this game as Saber Life falls as well. Will he expend his buyback? And even the buyback on the Siamese Cat. I, I think Aster probably well, wants X, X, to go X, fight X, this. He actually brought back into the river. Spirit Vessel applied. He's gripped. It's up again. He is gripped. And oh, the Avalanche comes out and cancels the Fissure. That's too dead for Aster. They're going to be forced to buy back. Okay. Wow. That, that's actually really annoying. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. sick. Although he's not cast well, from Entity, Cinder. there's... Oh, they're going to try to go on to the Brewmaster. The toss is there. Will he get off his ult? You can see his grave and the Primal Split comes through. And that forces Entity to BKB TP. Stormstormer does get away. And Saberlight got off his Doom and actually used the Refresher as well. He'll be stuck, Toby though. is mega dead. And 120 seconds, no buyback here as Baboka. He's going to get graved again as Fishman. Doing Fishman things, he actually gets out despite all of that. That's going to be his next item. And he buys it. Just like that. <laughs> yep, he's done with that. <laughs> Nobody's TPing out in front of him again. Yeah, that would have been pretty rough. As Saberlight actually still wants to fight. Gets off Doom, but Lotus Orb is going to reflect a bit here. You can see Bristleback is more than healthy. Saberlight taking most of the damage as the Primal Spit continue to kind of segregate this fight. Stormstopper coming with the Avalanche Toss, but he's going to get crushed in the meantime, and Saberlight will die as well. They do have buybacks and mass, and they'll have to use them. Kataomi completely out of mana. Again, these Brew Spirits are doing whatever the hell they want. The Grave onto Brew, onto the Bristleback, but Monet is perfectly fine. Double kill for Baboka, and Aster starting to run away with this fight. Four buybacks from Entity. The hairball comes out to slow the pursuit, and Aster get. But giving this up now, I that is very uphill battle for Entity now. Monet with the the Aegis. Who the hell? Uh, same with the grip. Aster looking for the backstab, and they need this to go flawlessly. That is a hail mary. Monet, we're gonna see them thanks to the Thunder God's wrath. Avalanche is there, but Monet already with the Lotus and the BKB. Saberlight trying to get off his ult. He does so successfully on the DP with the Refresher to follow, but he's falling so low, he's going to be brought down. 120 seconds of no Saberlight. No buyback whatsoever as the Poison Nova comes out, but he's just dropped to his knees. Buyback now from Baboka. And Fishman in the trees. This looks to be the last-ditch effort for Entity as Stormstormer not going to get bashed by Monet, so does TP back successfully, but again, he's against them and getting top four at this tournament. There's no way they defend this. It's impossible with these two heroes alive. They're just gonna go straight thrown. Yep, just focusing on the tier fours now as <laughs> Dazzle ends up dying Fine, here. The Storm Stormer, but we'll buy back because they've kept all their buybacks at this point. And That's GG it. is called. Aster secures top four at the Arlington Major and drop Entity in the process.